Okay, my wonderful, wonderful friends, Roger Spur once again, Mud Fossil University. And again, the division of the sciences leads to total chaos. We're talking about radiation sickness. Well, these are atomic guys. And then you have doctors. Well, the doctors see somebody getting sick, and they try to prescribe them something. The radiation guys say, well, they're getting sick because they're getting bombarded with radiation, and we know radiation is deadly. Well, let's put them together. Let's put everything together. Because what happens is the radiation is killing the bacteria in your gut. If you took, if you had radiation poisoning, all you got to do is take probiotics, and I think you're going to be fine. Let me explain it to you. Okay, my friends, as is my nature, this is Roger Spur, Mud Fossil University. I never leave anything unfinished. <laughs> and one of the things that was unfinished for me is health in its every manifestation. What causes literally every disease? And I came to the conclusion it was bacteria. And I said, well, how could bacteria cause cause um, this disease, which is radiation sickness. And I said, well, let me think about it. You inhale these particles. These particles are like little tiny bombs, and what they bomb is your bacteria. And how can I say that, Roger? Well, here's why I can say it, because what are the symptoms? They can be from very mild to extremely severe, depending upon how much of this antibiotic you have inhaled or had on your system. The gastrointestinal system and bone marrow are highly sensitive to this radiation. So these are the two areas of bacteria that are being infected most seriously. In, in its initial signs are radiation, usually nausea and vomiting. You are you're you're trying to get rid of these dying bacteria that are in your body that are festering in you, and you're trying to expose them. Diarrhea, nausea vomiting, headache you get because it's killing the, the, the no, nasal area stuff. You get a fever because you're trying to fight back against these invaders. You, you just disoriented, weakness, everything, all this stuff. Infections, low blood pressure, all of these things are a symptom of an attack on your digestive system and all of your bacteria that separates you from the rest of the world. And it can Get, get you instantly almost, or like here's normally, after the first round of signs and symptoms, a person with radiation sickness may have a brief period, no apparent illness. They say, oh, he's okay. No, he's not. He's killed all his bacteria, just like you took an antibiotic or a couple of them. And, and then a week later, you get really seriously sick because you have no defenses against what's trying to invade you. Last word. And it's all on bacteria. It's time to really map the entire human genome everywhere. What lives in these little tiny pockets, which are called membrane-bound bacterias. There's a membrane on every single surface in your body. And every single surface has its own specific type of collagens and keratins, which are fabrics. Some of them are very rubbery, some of them are very stiff, some of them are very flexible, so forth. They are the things that get attacked because they are directly underneath the bacteria. The bacteria can no longer protect them, you're in trouble. And the bacteria protects them from two specific ways. One of them is it slimes the surface with mucus. They are mucus membranes, duh. Mucus is like a barrier. Secondly, there's macrophage bacteria, which are killer bacteria. They go out and attack instead of just protect. All right, thank you. I love you all. Basically, radiation is almost identical to antibiotics, but you just inhale it. So you're inhaling these particles that are damaging to the particles that they come in contact with. And what do they do to them? And how do they do it? Let's explain that. And let's explain the symptoms. Well, the symptoms are, 
serious and often fatal. Well, why is that? Why are they serious and often fatal? Well, what happens to you? You get nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, headache. It's killing all the bacteria that are in your body. And the bacteria in your... And here's what, what it says. Let's just talk about this. You have an accident and the, these particles are in the air. You inhale them. They go in through your system. And what is the most... Let's see. They're talking about how to get out of this in the case of attacks and so forth. They, they don't understand. There's a thing here that talks about what the most vulnerable parts of your body are. Well, the initial signs and symptoms are treatable of treatable radiation sickness are usually nausea and vomiting. Well, that's when you're, you're damaging the things that are inside your body in your digestive tract in your 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 how you inhale things that go through you and in your lungs and so forth you get lung cancer too you, you don't vomit out of your lungs but inside of your heart i mean inside of your stomach and your intestines that's where you get d diarrhea look nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. These are all the things. It's just as if you've had a mild exposure, it may take hours to weeks before any signs of the symptoms begin. That's exactly like having taken antibiotics. The same thing happens. You just It takes a while before they show up because you, you've just killed most of the bacteria in your body because it's just a mild exposure. Now, if you get a severe exposure, it's Boom, within minutes to days after the exposure, you're, you're seriously damaged. Mild exposure is like taking antibiotics orally. Or, well, you know, as part of your environment, the antibiotics become, really. Um, it says, after the first round of signs and symptoms, a person with radiation may have a brief period with no apparent illness. Because you've just been attacked, you respond a little bit, but then it tries to work this thing out, and then the onset comes, more serious symptoms, and then you get all of this really gut disorder. And it's, I think if you take probiotics, at least they should look into that to see what is the health of the microbiota. What is the health? What, what, there's certain tissues that are more easily damaged than others. And they talk about the different tissues types that that are more susceptible to radiation damage because they're more easily injured. You know, they don't have that, that I don't know exactly why, because what happens with a, a, a radioactive particle is it wants to bond with something. See, all what it, what it is. Radiation means that it's either going to go in and break something or it's going to go in and bond with something because it's not a stable particle. That's all it boils down to. It's not a stable particle. Does it go in there? It depends on its instability value. Does it go in and break something or does it go in and bond with something? That's the key. If you've got enough radiation, you're gonna have enough breaking and bonding to go on. You know, bonding is not a good thing either because bonding comes in and you're going to bond with a molecule that should have been bonded to this guy and he's going to say no 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 you come with me I have more energetic value and I'm going to take you away from that guy and that's going to kill that guy which is a bacteria now it may also go in and say I'm going to come in here and jump right into the middle of your molecular structure and that's not going to work out too well for you either and that bacteria dies depends on how much you get. It's like if you took 20 shots of antibiotics, you're going to die probably in a couple of hours. If you take one shot of antibiotics, it's, it's going to eat up your immune system. Not in instantaneously, but a little gradually. And you'll get to that point where it's just so overwhelming that you, you can't fight back. Just like if you hit all of a sudden once 25 shots at a time, well, you, you're, you're overwhelmed. The, the smaller amounts of invasion are a subtle overwhelming of the system. If you can't come back from that with your own population of, of interventionists to come in and say, oh, no, 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 this is not going to go, whoa, 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 whoa. But if you don't have those guys at all, they say, well, look at the doors open. Let's go in there and just wipe this guy right out. 
Case is closed.